Now I know this video is coming out super late. I can explain. I got home at 9, played Fortnite for 2 hours with my friends and talked. But I'm finally doing the video. We had some Funko news today and we had some interesting stuff. Especially considering a massive lawsuit against a big company. What's that? You want to know? Well, stay tuned. First Funko news we had is we have the Wicket Funko Pop. This is some in hand looks at this is going to be shared with FYE. Some new Genshin Impact Funko Pops wave too. Now there was a girl at my school who I used to like who liked Genshin Impacts and man I I I, I could say this I probably couldn't have pulled her but I'm pretty happy I didn't get with her. Funko Pops had dropped on Wednesday, July 12th, which we will talk about pretty soon. And we have a Having Entertainment Earth exclusive dropping Friday, July 14th at noon. I wonder what it's going to be. The Powerpuff Girl Diamond Edition 3 pack is 1,000 pieces, so potentially a booth only, so yeah. Then we also have closer looks and first looks at the new Demon Slayer Fungal Pops. This set's going to be available at Target. We have Nezuko Bloody. This is her leaping, I think. The Zenitsu again, and 10-inch Ren Goku. We also have, there's another version. This is Nezuko, like, kneeling, I think, when she's got, like, the, like, variants. So there's two Nezuko variants. So the Blue Beetle Funko exclusive that's dropped Monday. It's still up on the website right now if you do want to get it. Snoopy coming soon, which is basically Snoopy. It's from the Peanuts. Don't really care for it. And looks at six inch Spider Willy that is exclusive to the Funko Shop. This will be dropping pretty soon. And man, I am so happy that this thing, I'm so happy this is finally coming out. This thing looks gorgeous. Cannot wait to get this. I really want it. So fire. Get some new Funko exclusive face set Wally. Corel Devel, Purge Trooper from Obi Wan. Funko exclusives, they're going to be dropping soon. Coming from my friend Dark Pops. He has first looks Demon Slayer. Then we also have, now this is everything GameStop is getting for their SDCC pops this year. They're again a Power Rangers Funko Pop, Cold Ock, Short Round, the Transformers 2 pack, just Seshirama, I think, and Ghost Rider, Nick and Modok. That is a must get. That is, I love that. People can say it's shit. It's so shit, but you have to buy it just because of it. It's a funny fucking pop. I'm going to be getting Seshirama. I might get a couple of those because I'm trying to resell those, make some money because, you know, I'm trying to profit off this event. I know you guys can hate me, but I really don't care. In the Fairly Odd Parents 3 pack, now, honestly, man, just, just, just take these and just cut my throat with them, dude. Like, I. Uh, this this is a nightmare, dude. I just I have three attempted shots that I'm hoping one of them works out. Funko Shop, Funko Hollywood, Homie Micro can get it in PA. And I just pay pound the money. Foe shared exclusives for SDCC. They're getting Jimi Hendrix Wicked, which I already previously mentioned, and the Reptar Funko Soda. Now I definitely need this Reptar Funko Soda. His daughter from Thor: Love and Thunder. This is a SDCC Funko Pop. No idea the retail is gonna be on this though. The new Barbie Funko Pops, which are pretty cool. I'm not going to get none, but I know a lot of people are pretty hyped for these pops. Also, at first, looks at Naruto vs. Pain. Now, I definitely need this. So cool. Also, a bunch of new Naruto Funko Pops, which I'm definitely going to be getting these. I want all of them, man. Give me all of them. Besides that one common, because I'm going to get the metallic fye version then we also have some new mcdonald's fungal pops including holiday grimace then we also have word that toy stop or i think it's toy shop i'm going to be releasing their borto Funko pop with a chase a toy stop sdcc booth so hopefully my friend can pick this up for me because i do want this yamita from one piece has the stock has loaded in, in the Funko shop that's actually around nearly 11.3k so pretty low more might get added potentially but do not know but hope to God I can get this. This might even be releasing Friday. Then we also have first looks at a new SDCC Hot Topic Shared Tony the Tiger Funko Soda. The box, the new Blacklight Bitty Pops that are exclusive to the Funko booth, I think, during SDCC this year. We have also first looks at it's from Family Matters. I might be wrong, but I think that's the show. Falcon, part of the Civil War build a scene set, is available now. So if you guys want to get that, you can get that on Amazon. My Hero Academia Heroes Hideout build a set scene, which is pretty cool. At the Tanjiro and Sakanji 2 pack. Now, I definitely need this. The first stop I'm going for for SDCC is going to be Box Lunch because I definitely want to pick this up. I think this is a fire too pack two demon slayer funko pops in the funko shop they dropped they sold out in roughly eight minutes which is crazy to think because shinobu had over i think over 17k 16k or something i'm not sure but they sold out pretty fast for having a lot of stock 
which honestly just proves how much Demon Slayer fans there actually are. So I thought they were killing Demon Slayer. Nah, bro. This just spiked the interest up. I did get a set. My friend didn't miss out on his, but I did end up getting him a set. So that's pretty cool. Some sad news for the UK and EU collectors, but you guys are not going to be receiving the Fairly Odd Parents 3 pack or the Powerpuff Girls. So. That's very unfortunate. Um, may may you guys rest deeply in my heart. Uh, I just I wish you guys luck on getting that three pack. Hopefully you guys can get them. If you do need a reship, um, I'd suggest looking into that. I also have the Ariel Funko Pop from My Lord Mermaid. This is shared shared with Target. Then we also have retailers of the day three reveals. Entertainment Earth is going to be getting the Leia. Target's going to be getting Ariel, Kai, Funko Sodas, Jessica Rabbit, Scooby Doo, Toucan, the Bugs Life Pop are all going are going to be the Funko Shop. And then we also have Bam is getting that Bone and Shadow Pop. I think Shop's getting Snoop Dogg, the Gold Zaro. Funko Shop's getting the second Toucan, and Funko Shop is getting Barry Allen's Flash. And then the last bit of Funko news we have: Funko has filed a four hundred and ninety-two thousand dollar lawsuit against Big Apple Collectibles. Um, let me just say this right now, Big Apple Collectibles, this is well fucking deserved. I honestly hope that this lawsuit stresses you guys enough out that you can't pay this money, so you have to go into debt, or you have to go behind bars, or you just can't pay it off. You just end up... I mean, well, I shouldn't really wish death on people, but these companies had this company is for so many collectors that I know. And when I was when I used to collect in 2019, I used to never order from these guys. I used to always make the joke saying like, oh, don't order from Big Apple Collectibles. It was an ongoing joke they would ship in 2024. Funny to think how 2024 is actually next year. It was a joke, but man, it's just it's just wild that actually like Big Apple Collectibles is getting find and they're going to court and honestly i hope to god funko wins i think this is an easy clutch because they stole money from fans and like i just said at big apple click goes if you're watching this village i know you're not um you guys can rest and i hope the worst of the worst happens to you because you have messed over so many people and i even know from a business perspective i don't really, but if i did if i did end up opening a business i would never screw my fans over i don't screw my followers over I don't do that. Guys, that's my rant. Um, hope Funko wins that lawsuit. Peace. You killed him! He was your brother! And you killed him! He was your brother, Saki! Your best friend! How could you do that?